I remember when I was in law school and I was competing in a moot court competition. Afterwards, one of the judges came up to me and the only feedback that she had for me was make sure that you wear a skirt next time because the male judges prefer to see women in skirts, not in pants. Now I'd worn pants because the courtroom was cold. It was freezing and I didn't want to be shaking while I stood at the podium. But instead of critiquing me on my legal argument, what I'd spent months preparing for, this judge took it upon herself to tell me that I needed to wear a skirt. My blog is about making sure that women know the options that we have. We need to know that senior managers and other people who are deciding whether or not women should be promoted, whether or not women should get pay raises, and whether or not women should be judged the same as men do, we need to make sure that we're prepared for that judgment. You know, beyond that, women shouldn't be held to such strict standards and women should have the same opportunities as men do, even if we wear a skirt, even if we decide on a pantsuit, even if we decide to wear a dress with a blazer or without one. That's staggering. And it's really important considering that women still don't make the same dollar to the dollar that men make. I don't think that comments about what women wear are going to go away. I think what's important is that if you're going to comment on a woman's clothing, hopefully you're making the same comments on men's clothing, and hopefully you're giving both of them substantive feedback on their work product. I think that women should have the opportunity to express themselves through the clothing that we wear. Now there are still certain standards that we all have to abide by, right? Like I can't wear a low cut shirt to work and nor can a man because nobody wants to see your chest hair in the office. We need to make sure that women are able to see themselves in leadership positions. And in order to do that, we need to give them the opportunities. What these movements really are about are casting out people who make the workplace unsafe and unwelcoming and keep women from progressing and growing and improving. I do things other than showing up with a crown and sash on. And I think being a national title holder, I have the opportunity to show people that, that we have depth and beauty. Thank you.